What is the rule of law? Welcome to the Civics Academy Introduction to Democracy series. In these videos, we explore different aspects of democracy. In this video, we look at the rule of law and the main principles it is based on. The rule of law is one of the founding values of our republic. Chapter 1, Section 1C of the Constitution says that the Republic of South Africa is founded on the supremacy of the Constitution and the rule of law. This means that the Constitution is the highest law of the land and no other law may conflict with it, nor may the government do anything that violates it, and that the rule of law is as supreme as the Constitution itself. The rule of law contains seven equally important principles. Principle 1 is the principle of legality. This means that whenever the government takes a decision that impacts one or more of us, it must be authorized by a specific provision in the law. For example, when the government restricts our movements in order to combat a global pandemic like COVID-19, this must be based on a provision in a law, namely the Disaster Management Act. This is really important because it means that government officials may not just wake up and take measures that affect us. There must be a law that allows them to do so. Principle 2 says that the law must be clear. If we are affected by the law or decision, we must be able to determine what it means. If the law or decision is unclear or vague, we cannot adjust our behavior to ensure we comply with it. Principle 3 is that the law must be accessible to everyone. It should not be difficult or expensive for ordinary people to find out what the law says. If government keeps the content of the law or decision hidden or exclusive, we cannot possibly be expected to comply with it. Principle 4 is that the laws and decisions must protect and uphold human rights. It is all good and well if there's a legal basis for the government's decisions and the law is clear and accessible. But if that law, for example, allows torture, it is in conflict with human rights and therefore unconstitutional. Principle 5 is that everybody must be equal before the law. The law must apply to everyone equally. Aspects such as race, gender, ethnicity, sexual orientation, language, religion, but also social or economic status should not determine which law applies to you or how the government applies the law to you. Principle 6 is that when we disagree about the law with each other or with the government, we must have access to independent and impartial judges. This also helps to hold those with power accountable. If they act without being authorized to do so by law, our independent courts may declare their actions invalid. An independent judge means that the legislatures, meaning parliament, provincial legislatures or municipal councils, and the executive, for example, the president or premier or a mayor, may not tell a judge what to decide. An impartial judge is not beholden or connected to any of the parties in the dispute. Principle 7 has to do with how laws are made in a democracy. Laws must be made through clear and transparent procedures and by bodies that have democratic legitimacy. In South Africa, we have a representative and participatory democracy. Representative democracy means that we elect representatives to our national and provincial parliaments and to our municipal councils to represent our interests and govern on our behalf. They may make laws that apply to us and they choose a president, premiers and mayors from amongst themselves who are responsible for implementing these laws. Importantly, the president, premiers and mayors are accountable to the elected legislature. This ensures that their decisions are ultimately democratic. Participatory democracy means that in between elections, governments must consult us on decisions that affect us. We explain some of these aspects in more detail in our Civics Academy governance series. Summary The rule of law is a fundamental concept of our constitutional democracy. It means that government action must be based on law. The law must be clear. The law must be accessible. 
human rights must be respected. Everyone is equal before the law. Courts must be independent and impartial. And laws must be made through clear and transparent procedures by legitimate democratic bodies. All of these principles are important because they limit the power of the government and they protect us against politicians and officials taking arbitrary, illogical, or selective decisions.